10 reasons to move to Texas. Just a little intro before we go to the list. Texas is in the southwestern region of the United States. Texas borders Louisiana to the east, Arkansas to the northeast, Oklahoma to the north, New Mexico to the west, and the Mexi Mexico to the south, and the Mexican states from Le Nueva Leon to Chihuahua, Mexico. The population is 28.9 million people. And the capital is Austin, while the largest city is Houston. Let's begin. Number 10. Beach. Yes, Texas has a lot of beaches. They also have, they have great beaches for the summertime. If you if you didn't know Texas had beaches, they do they actually do have beaches, but not a lot of beaches like you see in Florida or Hawaii or whatever. Not only not only you can swim in the beaches, but they also have the pleasure pier. That's where I was actually. Um, if you want, you can go check out my um my video of the Texas video and the trip to Texas. Um, it's at Coyote Monteroso. So yeah, you can go check it out. But yes, they also have the Pleasure Pier, which is in Galveston, Texas. Number nine, no state income tax. Did you know that Texas had no state income tax? Well, it might surprise you because Texas doesn't pay um, taxes at all. This is can this can be a affordable state or expensive. It just depends. This state is so huge. There's so much different places you can live in Texas. But yes, this is one of the nine states that has no state income tax, which is Texas. But yeah, and Texas is a great state. Number eight. It's pretty affordable. This is kind of similar to number seven. Um, yes, Texas are, is affordable, but some of the areas in Texas can get expensive. Like, like Austin is pretty expensive. Parts of Dallas is expensive. Parts of Houston is expensive. Um, but yeah, it's pretty affordable. You can buy land for a good, decent amount of price. Um, it's affordable. Housing. And honestly, grocery bills are pretty cheap, too. It's a pretty affordable place. Just depends where you want to go and stuff. And if you want a decent price or a decent house, I'm sorry, you're looking at two hundred fifty to $400,000. But honestly, El Paso is actually one of the cheapest, cheapest little towns in Texas. So, yes, they actually have great houses in El Paso. Also, so you go check that out on Zillow. Number seven. I'm sorry, from number eight, this is a disclaimer. Um, I actually meant number nine instead of number seven. So number seven is not about the taxes or nothing. I'm sorry. But anyways, number seven. Climate. Okay, Houston, or I'm sorry, Texas has... A lot of different climates. It's not hot. Some of it's hot and humid, like the eastern portion, the southeastern portion of it. They do share their natural disasters. They have flooding, hurricanes, fire, wildfires, but wildfires are pretty rare in Texas. Tornadoes. And yet, yes, parts of Texas is in the middle of Tornado Alley, but like by the Oklahoma border and stuff. But yes, this state gets lots of tornadoes. If you don't like that, move someplace else. Or move to El Paso or something west western Texas. West Texas doesn't get tornadoes as much as the rest of the state. And also, it's a dry climate too. They can also have dry climate because parts of it, 15% of Texas is actually desert. So like parts of central 
like from like from Junction, Texas, and stuff. Like after Hill Country, it's starting to get a little desert. So yeah. Number six. Great economy. Texas offers a lot of different types of jobs you can do. It's a good economy. You could be all kinds of things, like a doctor's, landscaper, or anything. The transportation is also really great, too. Like, transportation is good because they have a lot of major cities, actually. And you can be a truck driver, too. And for the past decade or so, the economy has been growing, growing fast. So, yes, it's a good state to have a job. And you can also be a farmer, too, or a cowboy. Number five, good schools. Yes, the education system is great. You have lots of different school opportunities. Actually, some of the schools are world famous, to be honest. Parts of Texas has wonderful schools way better school systems in louisiana oklahoma arkansas or new mexico lots is a lot better so yes you if you care about your kids education this is a good good state too because this state does care about education most of it at least number four they have all kinds of cities oh my goodness Texas have so many different cities you can visit or live in, such as Houston, Texas, Austin, Texas, Dallas, Texas, San Antonio, Texas, Galveston, Texas, Brownsville is a border town between Mexico El Paso, Texas, another border town, which is in Mexico. And Frisco. These are a lot of cities, and they have a lot more cities than this. But yes, those are the things that are listed. Number three. They have a lot of sports. Texas has so many sports and good sport teams. They have a couple of NFL teams, the Dallas Cowboys and the Houston Texans. I like the Houston Texans. Those are a rival team to each other. They don't like each other. They have a college football team named the Longhorn, so that makes sense. And yes, they do have an NBA team. It's called the San Antonio Spurs. I actually I actually like that team, I'm not gonna lie. I like that team, it's okay. And I don't know the rest of the um teams in Texas, but those are all the teams right here. They're all some baseball teams. But yes, if you're a huge fan of sports, this is a good state because this state loves sports. And they don't even just have sports like that. They also have like outdoor sports too. Number two. They have all different types of landscapes. Yes, Texas have all different landscapes. If you thought Texas was just one big flat desert, no, it's not. 15% of the state is desert though, but they have swamps, prairies, plains, bushes, forest, mountains, canyons, low desert valleys high desert the desert in texas is also known as the call the desert is called the chihuahua desert that's what it's known for the chihuahuan desert i guess the western portion is desert they have all types of different landscapes if you love if you want if you love all types of landscapes they have it for you texas have everything that you want ask for and number one, food.
food had to be one number one on this list because they have amazing barbecue. They're world famous for their barbecue. And they actually have the most steakhouse restaurants in the United States. That's where all the steakhouses come from, like Longhorn, Texas Roadhouse, all that good stuff. And if you love Mexican food, oof, Texas has one of the best Mexican foods in the United States. Mexican food in Texas is amazing. If you love Mexican food, this is a good state because they have a lot of Mexican food. They do have authentic Mexican food. And I saw a couple authentic restaurants in Texas when I was there from the Hurricane Ida. I actually went there. But mainly about Texas is Tex-Mex. That's what it's called. Tex-Mex. So if you love Tex-Mex, this is a perfect state because they, they can offer you a lot of Tex-Mex. So it's delicious. It's the best. You should try it. There we have it. The top 10 reasons to move to Texas. Texas is a wonderful state. Good food, best Mexican food, landscapes, deserts and stuff. Um, Good cities, good people, good economy. This is actually one of the states that I would like to live. And, I've, and you guys already know I'm in the Texas a lot. So, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. This is a, I, I recommend you visiting this state if you've never been. And actually, believe it or not, Texas is actually bigger than some countries. It's one of the biggest states. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye. Good night.